In this presentation, we will understand how to copy a dictionary. So, without any further delay, let's get started. The first topic of this presentation is introduction to copying a dictionary. The second topic is copying a dictionary using copy method. And the third topic is copying a dictionary using dict method. Let's get started with the first topic that is introduction to copying a dictionary. The assignment operator can be used to copy immutable objects. This means that we can copy immutable objects using the assignment operator. Let's first recall the meaning of immutable object. An immutable object is an object whose value is not changeable. On the other hand, mutable object is an object whose value is changeable. So, with this line, I am trying to convey that immutable objects can be copied using the assignment operator. Let's learn how to do this with the help of an example. For this, we will open our command prompt and we will activate the Python interactive shell. Now, let's type this command x equal to 10. With this, we want to create an object with value 10 and we want that x must point to that object. So, this is the meaning of x equal to 10. So, Python will create a new object with value 10 and x will point to that object. This is the visual representation of x pointing to 10. Now, let's type this command y equal to x. With y equal to x, we are trying to create the copy of x. We want that y must also hold value 10. The assignment operator can be used for that purpose. As it is written here that the assignment operator can be used to copy immutable objects. This object is immutable because constants can never be changed. So, once this object is created, it can never be changed. Now, with y equal to x, y is also pointing to this object. So, this is another label given to this object. So, we can refer this object by using x or by using y. Now, let's check what is the id of x and what is the id of y. If these two variables are pointing to the same object, then their ids must also be same. Let's verify this. First, we will hit enter. And now, we will type id x. Let's hit enter again. We are getting this id. Now, let's type id y and hit enter. We are getting the same id here. These two ids are exactly the same. This means that x and y are pointing to the same object. Now, let's see what is the value of x and what is the value of y. Let's type x first and let's hit enter. We are getting 10 here. And what is the value of y? For this, we will type y and hit enter. We are getting 10 here. This seems like we have created the copy of x. x is 10 and y is also 10. Now, before moving forward, I would like to mention what is the meaning of creating a copy. Here, y is 10 and x is 10. Now, in future, if we decide to change the value of y, then x must not be updated. This is the meaning of creating a copy. So, let's assign a new value to y. Let's type y equal to 20. Now, what Python will do is that it will create a new object with value 20 and make y point to that object. It is not the case that this value will be updated to 20. It seems like this value will be updated to 20 because y is pointing to this object and here we are trying to update this value to 20. But this is not how Python works. Python will never change this value because this object is an immutable object. So, its value will never be updated. This is what we know about immutable objects. Instead, Python will create a new object with the value 20 and make y point to that object. So, this is how it looks like. Now, y is pointing to this object with value 20. x is pointing to this object with value 10. And y is pointing to this object with value 20. Now, let's check the values of x and y. Let's hit enter and type y. y is 20. 
After hitting enter, we will get value 20. Let's type x and hit enter. We will get 10. y is 20 and x is 10. Changing the value of y does not change the value of x. This means we have successfully created the copy of x. Now, we know that the assignment operator can be used to copy immutable objects. But what about mutable objects? We cannot use the assignment operator to copy mutable objects. So, assignment operator is not useful in creating the copy of mutable objects. We can understand this with the help of an example. This time we will type car equal to brand Audi and model Q7. So, we have this dictionary called car where we have two key value pairs. One is brand Audi and the other one is model Q7. Now, let's say that we want to create the copy of this object. For this, we will type car copy equal to car. So, now car copy is also pointing to this object. This is what this statement means. Now let's hit enter and type car copy and let's hit enter again. We will get the same dictionary with two key value pairs, brand Audi and model Q7. Now, in order to verify that car copy and car both are pointing to the same object, we will use the id function and we will check their ids. For this, we will type id car. Let's hit enter now. We'll get this ID and now let's type ID car copy and hit enter. We will get this ID. These two IDs are exactly the same. This means that car and car copy both are pointing to the same object. Now let's say that we decided to update this value Q7 to Q8 and that too of the car copy. For this, now we will type car copy model equal to Q8. In this way, we can update this value to Q8. Now, let's hit enter and type car copy. Let's hit enter again. The value is updated to Q8. This means that we have successfully updated the value from Q7 to Q8. Now, what about this car dictionary? Will this value be updated to Q8? Unfortunately, this value will also be updated to Q8. Let's type car and hit enter. We can observe that now we have Q8 here. This means that car dictionary is also updated. So, the change that we have made in the car copy is reflected in the car as well. This is what we don't want. This means that car copy is not actually the copy of the car object. Now, let's see why this has happened. We know that car and car copy are both pointing to the same object and this object is mutable. This means that we can update this object whenever we want. Here, we are trying to update model to Q8 using car copy. Car copy and car both are pointing to the same object. This means that the same object will be updated. Here, model will be updated to Q8. It is not the case that Python will create a new object because this object is mutable or changeable. Hence, if we try to print car copy, we will get brand Audi with model Q8 and if we try to print car, then we will get brand Audi with model Q8 because these two variables are pointing to the same object and we have updated this value to Q8 using car copy. So, I hope with this it is clear that assignment operator cannot be used to copy mutable objects. Then what is the solution? How do we copy mutable objects? We can copy mutable objects either by using the copy method or the dict method. Let's now learn how to copy a dictionary using copy method. The syntax is as follows. dictName2 equal to dictName1 dot copy. dictName1 refers to the dictionary whose copy we want to create. This is the reason why copy method is used with dictName1. And 
dict name 2 refers to the dictionary where we want to copy the contents of dict name 1. In order to understand how copy method works, we will consider the same car example, car equal to brand Audi and model Q7. Now let's hit enter and this time we will type car copy equal to car dot copy. Here we are trying to create the copy of this object. With the help of copy method, we can copy this object and make car copy point to this object. But this time, a new object will be created and car copy will point to that object. Now let's hit enter and type car copy. Let's hit enter again. We are getting this dictionary with two key value pairs, brand Audi and model Q7. Now let's update this value Q7 to Q8 and that too of car copy. Let's type this command car copy model equal to Q8. Now let's hit enter and type car copy. Let's hit enter again. Here we can see that we have successfully updated model to Q8. Now let's see whether car is updated or not. Whether this value Q7 is updated to Q8 or not. Let's type car and hit enter. We are getting this dictionary with model Q7. This means that we have successfully created the copy of car. So I hope it is clear how to copy a dictionary using copy method. Now let's learn how to create copy of a dictionary using dict method. The syntax is as follows. Dict name 2 equal to dict, dict name 1. Dict name 1 refers to the dictionary whose copy we want to create. This is the reason why, as an argument, dict name 1 is given to dict. And dict name 2 refers to the dictionary where we want to copy the contents of dict name 1. In order to understand how dict method works, let's consider the same car example car equal to brand Audi and model Q7. Now let's hit enter and type car copy equal to dict car. Here dict method will create the copy of this dictionary and make it point to the car copy. Now let's hit enter and type car copy. Let's hit enter again. We are getting the same dictionary. Now let's update this value to Q8. For this we will type car copy model equal to Q8. Let's hit enter and type car copy. Let's hit enter again. We are getting this dictionary with model Q8. Now let's type car and let's hit enter. We are getting this dictionary with model Q7. This means that we have successfully created the copy of car. So with this we are done with all the topics of this presentation. And this means that we are done with this lecture. Okay friends, this is it for now. Thank you for watching this presentation. I will see you in the next one.